One evening in the summer of 2015, David Birnbaum was pulling into his driveway in Muncie, New York. Sari Brick, a seven-year-old girl who lived next door, was sitting on the curb next to the driveway. David didn't see her. His two-ton SUV hit Sari, and he immediately heard her screams. He jumped out of his car and called Hatzalah, the Jewish Volunteer Emergency Medical Service. In less than a minute, Judah Hoffman was there in his ambulance. He quickly placed Sari on a stretcher, lifted her into the ambulance, and raced to the hospital. Judah arrived at the hospital within 17 minutes. Sari underwent numerous medical procedures. Both of her legs were broken, but thank God she was going to be okay. That night, Judah found it hard to sleep. He could not stop thinking about bringing little Sari to the hospital. He thought back to the reason he had become a Hatzalah member in the first place. He too had been in a terrible accident. Judah grew up in Flatbush. When he was 11, he was walking home from school when a pickup truck sped around the corner and hit him. A woman named Miriam Brick saw it happen and ran down the block into the office of Dr. Marvin Bess, a well-known pediatrician in the area. She shouted for him to come right away. While others called Judah's parents, Dr. Bess accompanied him to Bethel Hospital where they saved his life. Now, 34 years later, a thought crossed Judah's mind. The woman who ran for Dr. Bess to save him was Miriam Brick. The little girl's last name is also Brick. Is it possible they're related? The next morning, Judah made some phone calls and discovered the extraordinary divine orchestration of events. Suri, the girl he helped save, was the granddaughter of the woman who helped save his life more than three decades earlier. The Hebrew word used in the Torah that instructs us to give or take care of others is the word venatnu. Venatnu is a palindrome. It can be read the same forward and backward. The Torah is teaching us that any time a person gives to another, whether it's one's time, attention, encouragement, financial assistance, it will return to him. Giving is cyclical. In the end, it will come back. You just never know how. Judah had paid back a noble deed and hadn't even realized it. He saved the granddaughter of the woman who had saved him. During these difficult times in Israel and around the world, let us search for opportunities to help others in need and care for those around us. May the merit of our acts of kindness bring healing and blessing to the world.